Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the slow-mo guys, bit dark in it. Yeah, it's not our usual time for filming. No, it's not very easy to film slow-mo at night unless your subject is very bright. It's an unintentional rhyme. But this is a very highly requested video and I have a sort of slightly bent cricket bat. Yeah, I have some, uh, some sort of nails made of steel. Yep. Uh, we're gonna British it up with a cricket bat and uh, this is gonna make a lot of sparks. So we're gonna melt that down into a liquid glob mm -hmm. and I'm gonna attempt to Knock it for six. Pretty much. Right. I should point out that um, we're on a lens that is f0.95. Wow. And the ISO on this camera is the 32,000. I might just do a little demo of what I can actually see with my eyes. Hold on. This is what I can see. <laughs> but thankfully, with technology, you can... Oh, are you doing that the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the 4K Phantom for my wide. I'm at a thousand frames a second. And over here, Phantom T4040. My tight, I'm at 10,000 frames a second. So you're putting in some nails. I'm putting in some nails. And this is an electric furnace. Yeah, it's an induction furnace. How many watts does this need? 3,500 watts. Three and a half kilowatts. I'm very distracted by, I think, what is planes in the sky behind you? Or stars or. Something's Uf twinkling. UFOs, probably. We'll turn it on. Bloody hell. Is that like the the, uh, <laughs> the number readout? That's the number readout, yeah. I've never seen someone lit up by a seven segment display before. <laughs> As I'm turning it up, you can hear the generator yeah. having to kick out more power. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, now we're up to temperature. Look, it's it's really... Look, at see those green sparks. It's yeah, it's like... There. It's like a sparkler, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So this is what we'll expect to see when we give it a right good a right, whack. A right good whack. Woof! Okay, it's going to be three, two, one, throw. Okay. Yeah. You look pretty sick right now. I look sick right now? Yeah, you look quite... Like, <laughs> look at you. I think the hardest part of this is going to be triggering the camera. I would agree. Thankfully, I don't have to do that. Might have to just stand on it, like pin it under my foot. You have all the hard parts here, actually. I think we're ready. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. It's going to be three, two, one, throw, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, throw. Nice one. Oh. I think you nailed that. Whoa. I think you nailed it. That was quick. That was quick, wasn't it? Woo. Wow. Did you get it? Got it. Nice B. That was a quality hit. Whew. Flipping glad it's night, because I'm wearing this and it's so hot. Is that just, oh, it's me. I've lobbed it there. Yeah, so I was wide on this one. Ah. Um, didn't know exposure or focus, so we'll see. <laughs> We'll see what happens. I, I set the focus before the sun went all the way down. Wow. That's already cool. Yeah, it's just so bright. It looks yellow though, not white. That's nice. Yeah, it's really cool. We'll see what happens here though, because I haven't connected with anything yet. So some hits the floor, I imagine, first? Yeah, yeah splashing on the floor. Splashing on the floor. Whoa! <laughs> Damn! You nailed it! Look at it! That's bright! That's wicked! Yeah, so even though you were wide, you look. There's still stuff going out of frame. Yeah, you can barely see us now. We're just in there. Oh, this is going to be a compression nightmare. Oh no! I have to put this up in 8K or something. Do you know what's awesome as well? You you hit like the top gloss, even though you only hit like a little bit of it. It's still went everywhere. Like, what other materials would you be able to hit with a cricket bat? and it explodes that much. I know. Which, without being explosive. I would say, pretty happy with the exposure. That was also um, not a defensive shot in cricket. That was definitely, you, no, were, yeah. you were trying to hit the fence. Oh, that was basically baseball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go and look at the T4040's 10,000 frames a second shot. Lovely. To my eye, it looked like a solid stream. Here we go, the swings, the upswing's coming. I can see you're I really there. like that some of it hit the floor to light my to light the swing. Look at that. Whoosh. <laughs> That's cool. This looks like the sun. That's pretty intense, isn't it? Look at the amount of individual things happening. There's more sparks than pixels on the sensor. This will not work on YouTube. <laughs> oh man, 
that's so annoying. <laughs> this is just one of those things that's just really hard to get across. I know, just like a massive firework, wasn't it? Pretty much. It was just like we created our own firework with a cricket bat. <laughs> I didn't, did you feel anything? I didn't feel a thing. Not a thing. I didn't know. I, I, I can just suddenly see a lot. Yeah, it was like it was like someone turned a massive light on. I think if I did it different, I'd go much closer on that one and much wider on this one. Okay. I'm Freddy Flint off. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh god. Well, that was chaos. What happened there? The I, you twatted, I, I didn't like get out of the way enough. Oh you, sorry. You an annihilated <laughs> the uh, the crucible. I was too keen. Yeah. It's alright, it's alright. But well, we definitely can't do it again now. <laughs> Oh, you're so wide. I love that that's, that's a cool reveal. Yeah. Isn't it? I couldn't tell then. Bang. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got like the end dregs and you annihilated the crucible that I was holding as well. <laughs> it's my fault for not getting out there a bit more, to be fair. I think I stood a bit too close to you. Look at it. There's some fine particles there. Too fine. Look how much hit you in the face. Wow. So much of it just went straight in your grid. Oh. You didn't feel any of that? Nothing. I can't even see what's going on, to be honest. There's just so much. I like the barely shadows here. Yeah. The cool look. A brief interruption now for the sponsor of this video. Henson Shaving. It's basically a high quality razor with a single disposable razor blade on the top. And what I like about this company is that they don't seem to use any plastic, even in the packaging materials. And there's no subscription model. So there's no recurring costs. You can actually buy a hundred disposable razor blades in a box this size, and that'll last about five years worth of shaving. If you use the code SLOMO guys, you'll get this hundred pack for free. Get 20 of those, you're good for a century. As a company that also has involvement making aerospace parts, a lot of focus is put into the precision of the machining process of the razor itself. The disposable blade is very thin and sits between two pieces of metal and the razor actually only sticks out by about a third of a millimeter. This combination of the tiny blade exposure plus the elimination of flex means it's a very smooth and safe razor to use. And I've been enjoying it. If you're a regular trimmer, I think you'll like this razor. Make sure you check out the link in the description below. Use the code SLOMO guys in the checkout and big thanks to Henson Shaving for sponsoring the channel. Back to the darkness. Glorious. And I reckon didn't get a six, but I at least got a four. Ugh, I reckon that was boundary for sure. Definitely boundary. Yeah, definitely hit the rope there. Straight in the rope. <laughs> Straight in the rope, bounced up, hit a baby in the head. <laughs> in all seriousness though, <laughs> you, did, you did really well. I'm just gonna I, I was up. shocked that I actually connected with it. Yeah. And the bat, has survived just fine, aside oh. from this part where I absolutely mullered the crucible. It's funny that, yeah, oh yeah, God. I thought there'd be some char marks or something, but yeah, yeah not at all. Yeah. There you go. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Uh, we accidentally destroyed the YouTube algorithm for compression again, but uh, that can happen in this line of work. Well, you do have the raw file, so maybe in like 50 years, yep. everyone else will be able to see exactly what it's supposed to look like. Definitely. And in the meantime, just you and, you and I will have a look. Well, we do have other videos that you can watch that, you know. <laughs> Some that are visible. Don't destroy YouTube. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe if you like slow-mo. And here's a video that you can see. See you next time. Bye-bye. Should we go to bed? Oh. Can we just leave all this here? Yeah, I wish.